Um, so my name is Deborah Taub, and I am also a resident of Marinwood, not a um, paid outside agitator, uh, not at all. So I'm a 20 plus year resident of Marinwood. My son attended Dixie School, Miller Creek Middle School, and Terra Linda High School. He then went on to attend and graduate from UC Berkeley, and he's living downtown in San Diego. We moved to this area because of its natural beauty and excellent public schools. Throughout the years my son was in school here, we deeply appreciated and took part in what we found to be a very caring and child-focused community. I talked to my son recently because I think you need to hear from former students who attended Dixie School and what they feel about this issue. And he said, um, to quote, as someone who attended Dixie School, I had no clue what the name Dixie was associated with. Having a school named Dixie basically teaches kids that the name isn't worth learning about or caring about. I'm ashamed of having, a, having gone to a school with that name. It was so contradictory to what the school stands for. The name conditions kids to have a false understanding of its meaning and fails to nurture the curiosity and motivation to understand the harm it creates. We want our children, and I think I can speak for all of us in this room, that we want our children to gain through education a full range of knowledge about self, others, and the world. That's not very controversial, and yet, in keeping the Dixie name, we are, however inadvertently, teaching and passing on a legacy of indifference and denial about the meanings and implications of the name that so many people have already spoken about. And despite, and I would add, because of the impacts of segregation in our county, in our Marin County, as evidenced by the 2017 Race Count study, which found Marin to be the most segregated, racially disparate county in California, I think <coughs> we want our kids to develop empathy and take an active role in contributing to just, caring, and safe communities for all of us. We create accessibility for members of our community. I'm almost done who are disabled based on those very values, not on whether there are enough disabled students or teachers to warrant our care in the same way the ongoing harm done to African American community members cannot be quantified. We already have knowledge as evidenced by tonight's comments of that harm. I truly believe we're a community who deeply cares, especially about our children, and that by renaming the school district with a name that really reflects our shared values, we can join with others in leading the way towards more justice and equity in Marin, and join as well with the many other communities around the country that have chosen to divest themselves of symbols of the Confederate South.